I mean, to recap some of the things that George said, uh, debut feature from Sam Freeman and, and Jim Ping. Sam and Ping. Sam and Ping. Um, builds on a on a short. The, I think the short featured Harris Dickinson. If yes, I he said that. Yeah. 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 So uh, Jules, uh, Nathan Stewart Jarrett is a drag queen who we see performing on stage. And then we see him in an off license where George Mackay's Preston are harassing him. And he says something on the lines of, don't threaten me when I saw you checking me out earlier on. And Preston is so outraged by this that he then savagely assaults him. Sometime later, they meet in a sauna and Jules resolves to to get revenge, to seduce him and then expose him because there are videos online of, of this happening. And this is kind of, that's, that, that, that's the plan. Or is it? Is there something else going on in the relationship? Is everything about it performance? Is he just trying to get a compromising video or is something else going on? And performance is the key thing here. We mentioned there, you know, that on the one hand, one of the characters is dressing in drag for certain scenes, but obviously in the case of George McKay's character, he has his own drag, which is the tattoos, the fact that he's, you know, he, he he's he's performing as this person out in the way he says, you know, I'm a very private person, meaning there are some areas of his life that he keeps separate from other areas of his life. So everything is to do with performance. Everything is to do with with characters inhabiting characters, which actually, weirdly enough, follows on rather neatly from the conversation we were having with Jason Isaacs about the fact that uh, Cary Grant was a character played by Archie Leach. And the film flirts with the erotic thriller genre because it mixes kind of palpable sexual tension with the threat of, you know, violence. There's also the an understanding that the kind of that there is a master slave dynamic in sexual power games which are all about role play and again all about adopting roles and, a, and a, a adopting personae and i think that it works because just as much of the drama kind of plays out it, a lot of it takes place at night it's kind of crepuscular there are neon drenched scenes and the the action itself sort of takes place in that in that twilight zone where things are uncertain, in which you're not quite sure what anyone's motivation or anyone's action. Everyone has a number of different fronts that they're presenting to the world and the way that those things interact is, you know, how much is real, how much is performance, how much is feeling, how much is thought, how much is planned, how much is, uh, you know, is just happening on the spur of the moment. I thought the performances were great. I thought the film looked really good, had a real tactile feeling to it. It kind of you know, it's a, it's a very physical film. Um, I think the performances are very physical and the way in which it's to do with, you know, it's not just what characters say. It was interesting hearing George McKay in that clip because his voice is so completely different to what his normal voice is. Like Jason Isaacs, he's very good with, uh, you know, with, a, with, with, with accents. And that is, I, it's always amazed me that, you know, actors transform themselves physically and they transform the way they speak because you know, to me, that's kind of, that's magic and it's alchemy. And when you see him in that role, he is like a completely different person. Um, but I thought performances were great. They were very physical. I like the fact that the film itself has a physical tactility to it. And I was genuinely kind of interested in where is this going? How is this going to play out? How is this sort of danger zone between these characters going to resolve itself? Not least because at the beginning, the the, the violence is very, you know, really, really distressing. So I thought it was, I thought it was very well done and very intriguing and I enjoyed it very much. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah. And if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.